so happy fact found in UNICEF's 2013 report, Female Genital Mutilation and Cutting, a Statistical Exploration. Female genital mutilation has been inflicted on approximately 125 million girls and young women. And 30 million girls are at risk of being cut within the next decade. 29 countries where it's practiced, mostly in Africa. About 3 million girls a year can expect a knife or a razor or a glass shard to cut their clitoris or remove it altogether. In a man, it would range from amputation of most of the penis to removal of all of the penis. Short-term results include tetanus, hemorrhages, cut in the urethra, bladder and vaginal walls, chronic, long-term include chronic uterine infection, increased agony and danger during childbirth and early deaths. Vaginas need comfort. Make something like that. 
no, they would never do that. They hate to see a woman having pleasure, especially sexual pleasure. I mean, make a nice pair of cotton underwear with a French tickler built in. <laughs> in the movie, coming all day, coming to the supermarkets, coming on Sundays, coming in cabby vaginas. <laughs> it would be able to stand that. See, almost energized, not taking shit, hot, happy vaginas. If my vagina could talk about itself like me, it would talk about other vaginas. It would do vagina impressions. <laughs> <laughs> it would wear Harry Winston diamonds, no clothing, just all their drinking diamonds. <laughs> my vagina helped release vagina baby. It thought it would be doing more of that. It's not. <laughs> now it wants to travel, but it doesn't want a lot of company. It wants to read and know things and get out more. It wants sex. It loves sex. It wants to go deeper. It's hungry for death. It wants kindness. It wants change. It wants silence and freedom and gentle kisses and warm li li liquids and deep touch. It wants chocolate. <laughs> it wants to scream. It wants to stop being angry. It wants to come. It wants to want. It wants. My vagina? My vagina? It wants everything. 